Using evidence to inform HR is really important. Um, working in um, a data-driven organisation, it's even more important in terms of demonstrating to the customer base that um, we're being effective in what we're doing and, and how we're delivering for them. Within the recruitment function here in ONS um, and the, tra the transformation, how we've changed how we operate, um, we've used the data that we had to begin with um, in terms of the scale of the operation, but it wasn't meaningful in terms of effectiveness. So we've structured our evidence and our data collection in a way that demonstrates effectiveness, economy and efficiency. So we put it into those three areas to look at how we deliver for the organisation and the strategic aims of the organisation as well. We've involved our customers in uh, road testing that and developing it, um, but also um, been mindful of what we're trying to do within the wider HR function. So involved colleagues in our people analytics team, for example, in helping us construct that. The value of what we do is really um, more obvious um, uh, to our customer base internally. Because of the, the organisation in which we work, um, we're speaking the same language as our customers. We're talking in data, we're talking in terms that they understand and appreciate. I think as an HR profession within the Office for National Statistics, we are fortunate in that we have that expertise on hand to help and guide us. That hasn't been an easy road because people have not been used to that concept of using analysis to drive activity um, rather than using MI to just report historically what we've done instead of using it in a way that we could predict or change or drive further changes. But we're now more firmly in looking forward than just looking back and, and using the data to help us in that regard.